I will tell you how to practice real tantric sex for men. A real tantric sex experience. I know that you've seen a lot of stuff that is confusing, that doesn't look very serious. You really want to understand what is a real tantric sex that a man can have. So I'm going to give you a very simple explanation here for real tantric sex and how to practice it. You only need two simple practices to have a genuine tantric sex experience and they're not complicated. You don't need to wear sarongs, you don't need to know the names and colors of chakras, you don't need to call each other god and goddess and shiva and shakti, you don't need to stare into each other's eyes and do rituals and sit on top of each other in cross-legged position. None of this stuff matters, none of this stuff makes real tantric sex. These are just trinkets, little pretty things to do that make a good commercial article in a magazine. They will never make a real tantric sex experience. This is not what tantric sex is about. And tantric sex for men is not about not coming or lasting for many hours. This is just a kind of a very basic and a primitive understanding of tantric sex in the commercial environment. So what is tantric sex? Uh, tantric sex has often been described as connecting with the divine or attaining enlightenment through sex or transcending consciousness through sex. But I think even if you're interested in that, it's a little bit removed and distant and not very relatable. Not to mention that a lot of the time it is over-promising with the practices that are actually offered. I would say that tantric sex is a richer and deeper experience of your sexual energy in that moment. It is a very rich experience of connection and life in this moment with your lover. You have very interesting energetic experiences through sex and it often does feel transcendental in some way, like you're entering a different state of mind, a different state of consciousness, a different state of connection with your lover and with life in general in this moment. So it's a very enriching experience physically, energetically, emotionally and spiritually. And to experience real tantric sex, there are actually only two practices you need to do. That is it. If you just do these two practices, you will experience real tantric sex. And they are quite simple. The first practice you need to do is channeling your sexual energy. So channeling sexual energy means you stop driving sex just to release your sexual energy, to empty yourself. And you understand that you want to do actually the opposite. That in every moment, that sexual energy that you feel, especially in the genitals, is a, a very potent and enriching substance. And what you want to do in sex is you want to send it into your system. You want to keep it flowing into your system to feed you, to nourish you. You want to fill up with it. So you want to be sending that sexual energy uh, into your system during sex. So you have already seen some different methods on doing that. Some through the chakras, some through the meridians, the microcosmic orbit and all that. I don't recommend that. That's unnecessarily complicated. It doesn't make it more effective. You can do the same effect or better with a much more simple practice. Just feel that sexual sensation in your genitals. Feel your whole body. Inhale it into your body. Feel how it transmits through you and how it feels amazing through your whole body. Over time, you're going to get better at this simple practice. You will channel the sexual energy very effectively and you will develop sensitivity in your body to develop this full body orgasmicity, to become orgasmic in your body. That is all you need to do and that sexual energy will be feeding you because you are redirecting it like this perfectly. Over time, you're going to get better at this. You're going to absorb more sexual energy and you're going to develop full body orgasmicity, a lot more sensitivity in your body uh, for these orgasmic waves that you have heard about. Does this need to involve retention and not coming and not ejaculating? Uh, this is a common misconception about tantric sex, that tantric sex is about not coming, that this is the purpose of sex. The purpose of tantric sex is not to avoid an orgasm. The purpose of tantric sex is to channel your sexual energy. You might include retention, but you don't have to. A lot of the time, it is good for you to not release that sexual energy. You're going to be more enriched by it if you just keep it in yourself and don't release it. But likewise, you can channel a lot of that sexual energy during sex and even include an ejaculation and you will still have that effect of being really nicely enriched by sexual energy. And actually, for a real tantric sex experience, you need to understand that sexual energy doesn't uh, get channeled into you just from your genitals. You also absorb sexual sensations through your whole body in every moment of sex, like a sponge. And the second practice is the real tantric sex practice. It is even more important. It really makes the genuine tantric sex experience. In fact, it is the only thing you need to do to really experience tantric sex, even without the channeling. And this is the thing that practically nobody tells you about when they are talking about sarongs and chakras and shivas and shaktis. And that is to understand that there is very rich energy in every moment of sex. 
There is nothing you need to achieve. There are no goals you need to get to. There is nothing you need to perform. In every moment, there is beautiful energy that is happening there right now that you are feeling in your senses. This is how sex enriches you. This is how sex really feeds you in every moment. In every moment, you're feeling some kind of sexual sensation, some kind of sexual energy that is flowing into you, maybe from your genitals, maybe somewhere else in your body, maybe from just feeling the amazing beauty of your lover's body. In every moment, you are drinking and absorbing and inhaling something really beautiful. In every moment, you are feeling some kind of beauty that is flowing into you. You are feeling something really enriching, something that feels amazing. So sex is just an experience that you are enjoying moment by moment. You are drinking from it every moment, and this is how sex enriches you. And nothing needs to happen. You can completely let go of how it happens. Sometimes it's intense and passionate. Other times it's a lot more slow and tranquil and deep. And there is no particular sequence you need to follow. You don't need to do any kind of process. It's just in this moment you're really enjoying this. And in the next moment you're really enjoying this. And in the next moment you are really enjoying this. If you do this, you're going to have real tantric sex, even without the channeling. Because this is when you really understand the nature of sex, that it feeds you as really amazing, beautiful energy in every moment, in many different ways. Because you are tuning into this moment so much, you are so present in it, you're going to feel so much more, you're going to enhance all that sexual energy, you're going to discover feelings you haven't discovered before. That's when you start feeling amazing things, amazing experiences of sexual energy in yourself, that is when you become really present in the moment, you achieve that transcendental state of your mind and you go into a different state of consciousness. That is when you experience the real beauty, the real richness of life in this moment. That is when you experience this really intense connection with your lover because you are in this moment, you are really feeling each other in this moment and you experience in connection with all life in this moment because it is incredibly gorgeous. So that is all you've got to do. Stop working on anything in sex. Just understand that in every moment there is this really amazing, beautiful energy that you can drink. And make yourself free. Enjoy it in different ways, moment by moment. Just drink from this amazing energy, moment by moment. That is all you've got to do. And all the different tantric sex experiences will happen to you naturally like this. I can't even explain them here because they're going to be so different and so special to you. That's it, guys. And you know what? You can do this right now, today.